made it to Albania. Yay! Another country ticked off the list. Okay, it's a moment of truth about the sale. We have got a small table. So we're just changing our flag for the Albanian flag. Woo! So in front of us we can see Albania. Exciting. And there's a hydrofoil coming towards us. They're pretty fast, aren't they? We made it to Albania. Yay! Another country ticked off the list. Yeah, we came over, we motored all the way. Um, no, no wind at all, to be honest. But the rain stopped and you managed to get here without getting wet. But if you look over there, um, it's approaching us very quickly. That is not a pretty sky. Yeah. There's lightning everywhere. And we haven't actually been ashore to check in yet because we're waiting for the hydrofoil over there to leave and um, before we can go over and I guarantee when he leaves it'll pour down the rain and we'll have to go over but yeah. what will be will be it's raining now yeah. so we've got an agent her name is not sure how you say it but Jayla or Jejla I'm not entirely sure she seems very friendly very helpful so we're going through her to book in and there's a nice cruise ship in there I love a cruise ship so we're in Saranda hmm? we're in Saranda town how yes. is it it's all right, actually, yeah. yeah. A bit better today because the, uh, the sun's out and it's not raining. Yeah, we had a bit of a storm yesterday, had a bit of rain, so it looked a bit, yeah. So we'll see. for a couple of days and see the sights because apparently the landscape is beautiful and we've got a few things to go and see. So as you can see there's a river down here but what's very bizarre is over here is a canal and it's pretty deep. Wow! We've just been following it for the last mile, perhaps. Well, probably more than that. Yeah, look yeah. how deep that is down very, there. Very fast. That is flowing, pretty impressive. It? Seems to go for quite a long way. It's very, very deep. Wow. I'm stood on a bridge, but I don't know if I trust it. It's made of concrete and it's all fallen apart. Are we lost? <laughs> lost. No. Well, not actually lost, but we don't no. actually know where we are. Hungry. I mean, the maps aren't brilliant, but we've passed one of the main tourist attractions with no signs whatsoever for it. Well, tell us about the entrance. It is the most bizarre entrance to a castle that I've ever come across. You're We're having just... to walk through somebody's garden. Yeah. And it is... There's chickens, there's dogs, dogs. There's, it's just a bit bizarre. But anyway. Hello, at least we're here. Yeah, lots of flies, mainly because there's a lot of cow poo and chicken poo and whatever else. Quite an impressive wall, just a pity they haven't made more of it. 
Yeah, interesting place. They've just built a farm around it. Mm. Something smells like them. Jeez, oh. Kind of sheep. So this is a village called, looks like Gyro Castor, or Euro Castor, depending on how you say it. And there's supposed to be a very old village on top of a hill. And that's what we're going in search of. We've just stopped for a minute to have a little look around. But I tell you what, the place, whole place reminds us of Turkey. Very, very similar idea. How you doing? Yeah. It's different. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah. It's all right, very, find the place. I know, very mountainous, absolutely stunning mountains. But the places that are on the map don't seem to be signposted very well. So we've already missed one of the tourist sites, so we're going to have to travel back. See if we can find it on the way home. So we're on our way up to the castle, we think. There are absolutely no signs. So it's a guess. We're, gu we're guessing it's uphill. And we can see the church clock, so... Yeah. Very steep climb. And it's meant to rain later. So I'm kind of hoping. There won't be a problem coming back down again. Yeah, again. He's in a hole. Don't know what it is. It's under the castle. Looks like a bunker. Stinks. Of. And there's bones in there. You're kidding? I, no. Stinks of what? Pee. And bones from what? Well, probably dog bones. Oh, found a tunnel. Got no idea what it is. But we're brave. We're going to do this. Well, it's lit, so it can't get too bad. Okay, it stops being lit now. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Well, we got out the other side and there was nothing. Very breezy through the tunnel. So there was nothing at the other side. So we've had to come all the way back again and try and find the castle. I'm not sure why the music's so hideous, but... Uh, we just arrived in the old town, and... Um, to say it was difficult to get up the hill was, yeah. Well, we're in the main street, aren't we? Of the old town. Of the old town, yeah. So, it's very nice. full of bars and restaurants and shops. And taking the boat into. Um, one is Flores, or Flore. Dores maybe, it's a bit too Dores far. Dores is quite a distance, isn't it? But Pimar was another one. But they all look interesting, so we're going to go and see if we can see them. Beautiful scenery, massive mountains. It's everywhere. So we're kind of thinking of this as an anchorage as we leave Saranda. Pretty well sheltered from the north. There's not much of a swell coming in there. Not sure about the depths, but uh, that's all. Okay.
Where are we going? We're going to Castle. Which castle? This one. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, Porto Palermo. Porto Palermo. There is an old submarine hiding place here as well. There's a tunnel. Mm -hmm. where they used to hide the submarines, but uh, nice. It's still run by the military, so sometimes you can get in here and sometimes you can't. We should go and have a look. We've just been in the kitchen, but it's pitch black. Looks amazing. We could do with some lights in there, really. So it's Al Pasha. Or Ali Pasha, sorry. And that was his room. What was in there? Anything? He must have been a bit short. Got a big room. You can't yeah, see it. It's a big room. Yeah, but the doorway was small. That looks very naughty. What are you doing? Cherry cheesecake. Leaving Saranda Port. Um, spent three days there. Four days, four nights. Four days, four nights. Um, yeah, um, nice port to check in at. Um, the agent was fantastic. And, um, the place is nice, isn't it? Very yeah. like Turkey, that's something we've noticed. So we contacted uh, the port authorities before we left here on Channel 11, which you're supposed to do to let them know that you're going north. So they now know that we're heading up that way. Uh, and they should leave us alone, but uh, we'll see how it goes anyway. Just going to the coastline and it's um, littered with gun turrets from, I guess when they had the war, but... Must be about um, 12 of them I've seen on that coast. Yeah, they look like they're all the way up. Yeah. And there's shelters up there. Yeah. There's shelters, yeah. So we've just landed in Hamari. We've dropped in about five metres in sand and there is a bit of weed, but we've missed that. So we're currently laying in five metres as well. There's a thunderstorm brewing over the back. We can hear, maybe you can hear it. So we're hoping we're not going to get too much rain because these just put the washing up. Yeah, because we look like a Chinese laundry now. I know, But never mind, eh? It's got to be done. So we're going to stay here for a few days and we're going to see what the town's like, although we did see yesterday and it was very nice. So uh, yeah, we're going to get a few boat jobs done. Okay, it's a moment of truth about the sail. We have got a small tear on the top, just up here. Just trying to get the sail out to um that might be enough to allow you to drop it mightn't it so it's not a big tear we could probably tape it but what we don't want to do is cause it more damage yeah so we've got the sail down in one piece we've started off with a bit of sticky tape double-sided sticky tape to just adhere the two sides together the double-sided sticky tape on, just making sure it's kind of well done. I'll take out all the excess thread and then I'll try and sew it. And then we'll tape it as well just to be on the safe side. Yeah, so we've been quite lucky really that it's actually gone on the seam and we're able to double-sided sticky tape it, sew it and then we'll put some tape over the top, some proper sail tape and hopefully, if we're lucky, that should uh, last us till we get back to Turkey. We will take care of it though, we'll uh, make sure that we don't get it out when it's 35 knots of wind, again. Oh, we didn't get it out. No, we, we, were, we were sort of reef right down, weren't we? We are but usually pretty careful with the sails. We are. But these are way sewing now. 
the machine would have been easier, but of course we haven't got one on board. So the industrial machine would have been like that. So you've got about an inch of the way through and... Nah, a bit more. <laughs> got about two inches of the way through. You do realise this will be stronger than any other part of the sail, don't you? Yeah, probably. Only because the other part of the sail needs redressing. The stitches don't, don't line up. No, it's not as easy as just putting it straight right through the holes, is it? We're almost there. Yeah. We've rigged up a... <clears throat> Pretty hard to do, isn't it? We've, we've rigged up some shelter. <laughs> yeah, it's not the easiest thing to sew, is it? Definitely not. But, if it helps. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.